good morning and welcome to Sea Fishing with CJ, back on the beach again. But something slightly different today, I'm not actually fishing. I'm down here with, with the well-renowned, well-respected sea match angler, Tony Kirridge. Uh, and we're going to watch him fish. He's fishing in a competition today. It's the uh, Nomads December competition. Uh, and we're going to watch him fish and we're going to learn from him, I feel. So the match started about five minutes ago. I managed to get the cast in, his first cast. Uh, uh, it's not the best of days, as you can see, blowing a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit rough. Uh, and I don't think Tony's drawn the best peg. Uh, but if anybody's going to wink it out, it'll be Tony. So no more ado, let's leave it up to Tony and, and let's, let's watch him. There's got to be white in that suit, if you like. As you can see, he's got one rod out. Um, and he's tackling up his swap over rigs. Free, free hook, clip down. All above the weight. Because All above the weight, yeah. tends to tangle in the rough sea. Yeah. They can work, but you know, I, I tend to go above the line when right. it's rough. Because yeah. sometimes your bottom dropper, which is a great hook to have, yeah. it tangles sometimes in the sea. You know what I mean? In the yeah. rough sea. But only personal preference, you know what I mean? Yeah. Got a little bit of motion on the end of the rod there. We'll have, we'll have a look at his tackle in a bit, but we'll let, let him settle down. Um, Bait it up, three of us clipped. Yeah. Um, this is amnesia. OK. So what, what I don't know if you've seen me reel of whitening earlier on it. It was a right mess. It was all spun yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With this amnesia, just run your fingers down it two or three times. It's back down to perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, whereas with fluorocarbon and stuff like that, it gets all tangled up and you have to cut it off. And then also, because it's all clipped, you can't exactly tie another one on the beach, no, you know? No, well, you can, but it's always, yeah, it's always it's wrong, plain, you know? So that's what we use. I, I tend to like a six-ounce lead, because I feel it's like an anchor. Yeah. When you get a nice bite, yeah. you've got something to, to, you know, like a, to hook against. Whereas with the four-ounce lead and stuff, they tend to pick it up, they'll pull it out, and you won't get them hooked. No, no. Uh, the, just a case of the same thing with a, with a rolling lead. Yeah. Great thing to use at the right time, but the yeah. amount of times you'll get a big bite on a rolling lead and you won't, you won't have it. No, no, no. And you, you go, you're gutted because you, you know it's a nice fish. But so you it's can't a bit like a bolt rig, it. bolt rig with the old carp. It's a bolt rig, yeah. really, yeah, yeah, basically. Snoods a medium length, not yeah. too long. Yeah. Um, it's just a general rig, three hooks right. clipped, two hooks get you a bit further and they're not on a flat day when there's no fish. Yeah. It's worth having a dropper then if it's yeah. flat. You have one above and one below. So one, one up and one down, yeah. makes a loop which yeah. looks like it's going to tangle but it never yeah. tangles. No, no, no. Okay. And that okay. gives you another 10 yards perhaps, you know. Right, okay. Was well, so like a Portsmouth rig type? Yeah, Portsmouth rig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Ian Golds was one of the originators of it, you know, right. from down yeah. there. Yeah. And uh, of course it gets elaborated and made better. Yeah. Definitely good, you know. So. Yeah. So what, what breaking strain line is on the snooze? What that amnesia, what is that? 20? Uh, 20. Yeah, 20. Yeah, when the, when the white in here at night, 25 is yeah. a good shot. Right. Because it's that little bit thicker, it doesn't spin up at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, and it, it out stands much off a little bit as stands well. Off. 25 yeah. at night, yeah. the white in when there's a lot there. Yeah. Um, 20 pounds during the day. I prefer clear, but I don't think it matters at night at all. I was using no. black the other week, it was dynamite, yeah. 25 black. Yeah and caught plenty of white in, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, um, what's the breaking strain of the main, of the main, sh of the, the, the rig body? Uh, 60 pound 60. grease weasel. All right, Normally okay. something like that. Yeah. 60 pound All right. bite on there now, I think. And it, the whole black lug? Uh, yeah, sometimes half, you know what I mean? But yeah. you've got to put a bit of bait on the day. Yeah, yeah. Rough, maybe yeah. looking for a bass, you know what I mean? And also, also, because the water's so coloured, it, it's scent, isn't it? It's not sight, so. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Right. But it's, this easterly wind's going to make it a bit tough today. Yeah, I think so. But, uh, but I mean, there's fish, fish coming in, isn't there? I mean, I'd have been fishing for all day and not caught a, caught a fish, probably. Yeah. Knowing me. on there now. Yeah. But it's nothing special again. Yeah, yeah. See it? Yeah. Just yeah. rattling. Yeah. But not what I want. These spots are good. Just push the bait down, get it on now. Nice and neat. And then you just push the bait down onto the stop. Oh, okay. Push the stop down, bring it down to where you like yeah, the bait, yeah, yeah, yeah. condenses it. Right. And they're quite nice they are. Yeah. Because you, you can wind your bait on and push it right down sometimes. Yeah. I mean, stop, what happens is when you cast, the, the line, um, so you don't realise it, flies really fast upwards. Yeah. If you haven't got any stops, what'll happen is 
your, your, your lug will go up the line. Yeah. So you're not even fishing. No, no, no. That's no. crucial. I, I always, on the last bit of the lug, I turn it four or five times. Right. So that it doesn't fly up the line. Right. Because okay. even them stops, if you look when you reel in, yeah. they're up the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, I use double ones normally and they, yeah. they hold up. It's difficult. Yeah. You know. I always find that you end up with a great big bunch of worm down round your hook as well. Yeah, that's right. Well, you need to get white in this chuck after that. Oh, that'd be too small. Yeah. I think if, if you've got any there, they're small again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What size hooks you got on there, Tone? Two camasans. Two camasans, yeah. Come in a little bit and offset them. Yeah. Two camasans. Stop. You just run your fingers down there. Yeah. And look, that was tangled. Look, it's yeah, perfect it's now. now. Yeah, Set. Straight Stand up, yeah. lovely. Same thing. I always do it anyway, just to straighten it yeah, all yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't see no... <laughs> Crazy. Are they not stripped out? Or are they yeah, they are, yeah, 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 they're cutting. Well, I mean, it looks, looks like it's not gutted either. Yeah. No, they're cutting. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you were talking about fresh outs. Yeah. I, I used to, wouldn't fish without them at one point, loved yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. And I still do, but none of my mates can get them for me now and things change. Get them now and again, but very rarely. Yeah. But I always feel that when you got a fresh out on, like, like today, you're out the game a little bit, and then you think you, you put a fresh out out there, and you might get a really nice bass or something. Yeah. They just, you know, when they're codling around, they're deadly, you know. Well, they're like a scent bomb, aren't they? Because they go they out really and suddenly are, burst. Yeah. yeah. Know, I mean, I think that they're great bait. And yeah. I'd use them all the time if I could get them. You end up with yellow hands, unfortunately, yeah. when you're in the pub afterwards. Yeah. And then black hands the following day, because yeah. it goes black, I was, it? I was obsessed with them, now I just don't bother. Yeah. But I should do, because they're yeah. so good, you know. Yeah. On their day, another day they don't work, you want no, a two no. day old lug. Yeah. What the about... only thing I have found is that when they're... You either want them two or three days old, yeah. a couple of days old is good. When they're sort of like... Like mine today with Doug last night, and not making any excuses, but something's going wrong because yeah. they're saying it's because I'm up by the wall. I think Trevor it is. Trevor and, and yeah. Dan, but I don't think that's it, right. and I think it's me. Right. But basically, different kinds of, you know, like if you've got a bait that's um, sometimes two two days old. Yeah. I put a different lug earlier on. I don't know if he was filming or not when I said it a minute ago, but I put a different lug on from the other thing up. Right. And I caught a 29 white in. Yeah. And these are beautiful, look at these. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking, hang on, but I don't seem to be catching. No, no, no. So I, I don't know. This is a strange thing. You think you've got it in, it smacks you straight in the mouth. Yeah. You, you win and you win, you think, oh, I'll beat everyone, I'm good at it now. And then all of a sudden you go out and you get absolutely annihilated and think, well, what happened there? <laughs> you know, probably, it's, it's, probably because you're being filmed. Yeah, it's strange thing, you know. I, I mean, I know, I know that if I get a bite, as soon as I put my camera on, it stops. Oh, uh, yeah. Every yeah. time. It's a great, um, you are right in a way, um, it's a great concentration thing. Yeah. You know, it, um, when uh, I go, will come round me, and the other night I weighed in 10 and a half pound, it's yeah. one with 12 pound. Yeah. And I don't mean to be rude, him, but I had three guys come down to me. Yeah. One with his wife and that, and you can't be rude, you know, I'm no, not no, like no. that. No. And I guarantee you that I would have caught 11 and a half to 12, I'd have had six more fish. Yeah. But I, I talked to him because you got to, you know, you can't yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't be rude over fishing. No, no, no. Otherwise, it's not worth doing. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it does sometimes affect you. Yeah. You, no, you quite. just think, you know, I just want to sit there and concentrate, you know. Yeah. But it's, it's what it is, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I'm ruining your concentration, I'll... I'll no, I'll, you, you don't I mean, have to, because no. I've, I've blown it now. All right. But the thing is, it's an easy excuse, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I go back today, when, we, yeah, you'll when, say we're, in, when we're in the pub, I go, well, it's been filmed all day, didn't <laughs> really have a chance to fish, and they'll, they'll laugh, 
and I'll laugh it off and I'll get away with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, so it's not a bad thing, yeah. really. Yeah. It's, it's the best excuse in the world. Yeah. It is the, it, this is on record, by the way. That, that has been filmed. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter, but that's, that's the truth. I could get yeah. away with it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, look, yeah. He was filming me, so I was showing him this and that, and I didn't really have time to fish. All of a sudden, the match was over. <laughs> Trevor just said to me a minute ago, he said, Tony, you've had a night now, and I said, yeah, I said, he said, yeah, but think of the publicity you're getting out of this. <laughs> I went, yeah, OK. <laughs> yeah. What about, um, what about white rag? Do people still fish with white rag, or...? No, they're banned from most competitions. Are they? All, all white. No whites, small red no. rag, crab. But they don't, they wouldn't make a difference. No. You know. I thought it was all going to be one and lost in the first hour and a half here today. Yeah. Because coming up to high tide in about an hour. Right. By about, the match finishes at one. Right. By about 12, the sea's gone well back. I think you've had it then. Yeah. So you'll know if you've done any good probably in the first three hours, you know. I've had a couple of bites here. OK, well, that's good to know. But, uh, they might be small, but look like small whiting. Yeah, it's catch and release, isn't it? Yeah, uh, the whiting have to be 27 centimetres. 27 centimetres, right. Which is um, size limit. Yeah. Everything else is 18. All okay. the flatfish and everything yeah. else. And same with bass. Right. And you get points. Right. Um, it, it's a nice way of fishing because you put the fish back. Yeah, yeah. They don't all live, but basically no. you give them a fighting chance. Yeah. Sometimes we have to take them back to weigh-ins, which is horrible, really, but yeah. it just most of the time we try and fish catch and release yeah, yeah. if we can, yeah, yeah. especially in the big opens. Yeah, and, and what do you do? You have to go down to the, the neighbouring angler and get him to sign your, your sheet? Yeah, Trevor over there will sign my fish. Yeah. He comes to me if he's got something. Yeah. Uh, we have to take it over and uh, measure it and yeah. put the points down. So everyone's a witness, so it's not open to any cheating or anything. It's no, quite no, good, absolutely. really, because yeah. uh, everyone's a steward, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, it's a big in step big... forward from the days when you had a big bucket full of dead fish at the uh, yeah. Bay Rod Rest, isn't it? In the big comps, they have a bag search quite often before the, before right. the match, they have yeah. a bag search. And it seems quite nasty, really, but it's all big money. So, you know, you just check, check your mate's bag, make sure there's no fish in it. You know, it's just one of them things, yeah. but yeah. it's the right thing to do, really. Unfortunately, there's cheats it, in every game. You feel like it? it's offending you, but it isn't, because no. you've, got to, you've no. got to do it, you know? No, absolutely. Yeah, no, I did have a bite. It's nothing spectacular. No. Probably be a very small whiting, I spec. Yeah, it is, it is whiting season, but they tend to be after dark fish, don't they, really? Although the water is incredibly coloured, so the proper fish don't even know if it's dark or not. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of a shock today. Thought it was going to be dead flat and clear. <laughs> Made all my rigs up with light snoods. That changed it all last yeah. minute. It's lovely though, it's good for beach fishing this, yeah. really. Uh, the only trouble is it's an easterly wind. That don't normally help, but other times they just feed. Yeah. You never know. On yeah. an easterly wind, sometimes it can be tragic. And then another day, they'll feed. Yeah. Caught most of my big bass in the, over the years on east wind. Okay. Yeah, when people think don't go, and yeah. for some reason, they ain't worried about an east wind. They like it rough. Yeah. I've caught loads up beach here on east wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to be fishing to catch fish, and yeah, that's the point. Yeah. I mean, I, for years, I only reckoned you could only catch fish on the flood. But I only ever fished the flood, so how really? would I know? Well, the flood's great at Langley Point, because you get yeah. loads of run. Yeah. They'd have just, that would have just stopped running there at Langley Point, so they kind of missed the best bit of it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And they'll, they'll get the ebb when it runs that way. Yeah. And this is also here, one yeah. thing this is, well, as you can see, it's on a point, so it is yeah. a good area here. Yeah. I was fishing here with Graham Pullen years ago. Yeah. And it lines up with Langley Point from there, and it sticks out. So this is a very good spot here off this corner here. Off this corner, yeah. Yeah, it really fishes well. And well, it, it I, often went, I, couldn't, I couldn't work out why, and then I was fishing one day with Graham and looked up there, and it actually lines up, it sticks out like the point. Yeah. So it's a good thing, really, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, you're... You're another 50 yards out, aren't you? So is that well? I'm not. He no, is. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> but yeah, you are. You know, honestly. Yeah. Right, I'm going to give it a reel in a then. Bite on there, I did have a couple of bites. I don't know. I had a couple of bites, but I can't leave it forever. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got a whiting or something.
Yeah. No good. Undersized though, isn't it? <laughs> As predicted, undersized whiting. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have been anything else, could it? <laughs> no. So he's clipped his, his uh, second rig on, straight on, straight back out. It's about having baits in the water is the important thing. So, Trevor's got a couple there. Yeah, I yeah, but they, one they, of they look little as well. One might go, you don't know. I know this one don't, unfortunately. So it's got to be 27 centimetres, yeah? Yeah, this would be 24, 25. 26. 26, whoa! <laughs> so, one centimetre out. You all right? Yeah, that's fine, Trev. Well done. Mine was under. You had two, didn't you? Two, one was under. Well done, mate. Cheers. And then once it's signed off, it goes straight back. It's Trevor. That's <laughs> ah. right. I'll go over there. Bit of excitement there, but it was uh, it was Trevor caught around his line. So the, the, the issue here is is if someone crosses your line, is is get close to them and keep your line fairly taut, and then theirs will come up your line. So it's only when you've got slack slack lines that they end up twisting around each other. You've got an almighty mess. Still wrap around one more time. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, nice. That's probably a string it wasn't string quite him, Probably wasn't him. Yeah. Before. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm going to leave it a second because I don't want to lose it. With that braid, you've got no... It's basically braided leader, braid. You get better bites. Yeah. But basically, you don't want to sort of take it too quick. No, so. no. That's really going now. So you, you use braid line and a braid leader? A braid leader I use, yeah, because yeah. it, it seems to go further. Yeah. That's a bit of a bite, that's it. Fish, mate. Yeah, that's a nice one, that one. Yeah. I'm keeping them back out of the way because Tony's on a mission. Pain in the arse for the angle. Pain in the arse. We'll do the points later on yeah, if you yeah. want. Just check it. 
one who wrong to them. Oh, Tom, sorry. Uh, I'll put them back. What's that nil view? What's these? What's these? What's these? Yes, Tom. 28.30. These are Trevor's fish. 28. 15, 20 pound. Yeah. The rod just goes slack, goes right over, bend right over, and it just go bang like that. Yeah. And you had to pick it up, run like mad, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was with um, Alan Yates one day, and uh, he's got. I'm standing there next to him on the beach. We're both fishing like this, and I'm looking at the sea, and I said, oh, "Look at that! I can't never seen it like that. This great big fish jumped out about, I suppose it's about seven or eight pound. Yeah. And it's flying along the surface and it, I went on oh, that's amazing that is and as I look back to my rod it's going down the beach <laughs> I'd only looked that way for a second yeah. this fish was on it and I got it in it was called a nine boat oh right okay. anyway it weighed about six pound and then the only way you could hook these nine boats was let let the rod go down the beach in the end by the end of the week everyone's getting a nine boat by it yeah. the rod's going down the beach it's incredible and, and they wait for it because otherwise yeah, you yeah. try to strike it a bit like a bonefish. Yeah, yeah. Try yeah, to yeah. strike it, you pull it out of the mouth. Yeah. So it's best to leave it, and it almost pulled your rod along the sand. Yeah. And if you left it, and they were all leaving their rod, you can imagine it, can't you? In the match. <laughs> Get a bite, knowing it was a nine bone, and leaving their rod to go down the beach. That's a bit, really, a bit like me with smooth hounds. That is. <laughs> it's really funny though. At the time. You have to really laugh. Right. I mean, I've nearly lost my rod twice with smooth hounds. Have you? Yeah. Well, same thing, isn't it? Yeah. I had um, Scott's mate, and he he never caught one. He cast out. And yeah. We won't get one there, Langley Boy, and it was a bit short. Yeah. And I was kind of like having a little chuckle to myself. Yeah. Anyway, then he started speaking to me, and I heard this clatter behind me, and he's just looking at me like you are, and I said, Roy, I said, you better go and get that smooth hound in. He went, what are you on about? I said, well, your rod's about to go in the water. And I think it's a good, and it was eight and a half pound. It's yeah. well made up, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he caught another one. Once you caught one, I think you get a oh, feel yeah. for it that you yeah. can catch one. Yeah. If you haven't caught one before, they, they elude you, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a great fun. Yeah, no. Definitely on kind of on my top wish list of fish, actually, smooth yeah. hands. Not, not so much on the boat, but definitely on for sure. Yeah. Oh, they're great. They're, they're the new cod, really, for us. Yeah. I know we don't eat them, we put fat. Right, you've got a fish on there, by the way. I think he's only got a small one, isn't he, over there? Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'll leave it a little bit then, because I've got a chance to... Oh, there's something on the there, isn't there? coming quick and fast now. The other thing is, no good reeling in if I'm not ready, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no. But I no. must admit, I've lost a few lovely fish like that. Yeah, yeah. Been stupid. You know, oh, it'd be all right, it won't go. And I reel in, it's gone. Yeah. And I miss bass and all sorts. Yeah. But I just, oh, well, it's no good because I'm not ready to cast yet, you know what I mean? No. One well, of my, my, my biggest problem is I'm normally <laughs> messing around with a camera. Another one of my mistakes <laughs> in life. <laughs> I leave. Quite often in a match, I leave a pound of fish out there yeah. when I'm fishing, yeah, yeah. and I miss a real big bite on this braid. But it's addictive, and I love it. You yeah. can see what's going on. No, I like. You know, braid. I fish with nylon. You probably catch more fish, but sometimes you've got three white, and you don't know they're on there. No, which you, no. you can near enough count these on, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's see. Goes one more time. I'll have it. Oh, he has got two there. Look. Oh yeah. Yeah, one of them's big enough, isn't it? Certainly looks it. So the idea is you've got three hooks out there, so what you're leaving it out a bit longer, see if you well, can. Well, you want to get three if you can. Yeah. While they're there. Yeah. If you can, you know. See, that's not doing anything now, but then again, it might be going when I want looking. Yeah, yeah. So I'll probably have it in a second, but I always leave it too long. It's one of my big, another one of my yeah. big ailments, I'm afraid. I'm not, I don't know what it is. I'd, just don't reel in fast enough no, sometimes. No, no. It's funny how they give a big rattling bite and then they just go slack. No, they don't. They don't really do much. Yeah, after they're that. normally just laying there. See, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, 
you can count them on and they yeah. just stop and you think, oh, I haven't got anything. Yeah. And they're just laying there, you know. Yeah. Sometimes if you let a bit of line out, if you let a bit of line out, that, 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 they'll take up on it and you get a bite, you know. Yeah. Occasionally. It lets your line go slack. They think they've got off, so yeah. they'll have a go. Oh, that's good. He's going that way. Oh, he only had one, didn't he? Yeah, it's bite there. See it there? Because I let the line go slack. Yeah, yeah. There's probably one on there. Just hope it's sizable. One or two. Nah, didn't get him. No, it didn't get him. No? Don't think so. Nah. But they get washed up, and that's dangerous, really, because people could pick them up again. Yeah. You know, obviously, we all have to trust each other a bit. Yeah, but no, quite. It's a bit of a nightmare, that. Yeah. I was fishing the other day, and there was a great big dab in front of me, and we had a laugh, and I put it back, you know, it's from a yeah. boat two pegs down. Yeah. If you're too far behind, you've had it. Yeah. Not me. And then if you're really in too quick, you don't get any, then you get further behind, don't you? Yeah. Definitely rattling, isn't it? Oh, definitely. There's not that many fish there. If you can get three, it's better. Yeah. You can pull in that three and you're back in the game, you know. Yeah, no, absolutely. Sizable. Get three sizable fish. I that one though, would you? So I've got that one. Yeah, no, that's that's on it. I'm going to get my line this time, so I'll back to the bed. The beauty of braid, isn't it, is, is you can see every single little tug and pull. On, on Mummerfield, you can hardly see that. And we've got some fish coming in. One looks alright, one looks undersized. So one looks alright, the other looks a bit small. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just one fish can, can change the whole thing, can't it? I mean, in 2019 you had a, a bass on one of these matches. Yes, yeah, this one. Um, oh, yeah. There was a lot more in it, and uh, I had a thousand points, 970 points. But I think I would have won it very close without the bass. Yeah. It, it, I might have come second by about five points. Yeah. But without the bass, I, it was just amazing. This bass come in, and they said it was 13 and a half pound on the on the you know measure. It went yeah. back. Yeah. But I reckon it's about 11 and a half. I've right. written it in the book. It's about yeah. 11 and a half. I reckon. It was over 10 and a half, 10 and a half, it was probably 11. Yeah. But it wasn't as big as they said. But I mean, a, 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 specimen, a specimen hunter would, be, would have been happy with that yeah, fish. fish. Yeah. It was in a sea like this. Yeah. And, uh, my mate brought it up. I said, get behind it, get behind it. Anyway, he got behind it, got it out, and then he froze. And there's these massive waves, twice as big as this. Yeah. And I was ever so lucky, he actually froze. He, he'd never seen it like it. Yeah. And I said, get it up the beach, you know, and we got it. And, uh, Put it back five minutes later. Nice to see it go back. Yeah. Base or something like that. Huge points. Yeah, yeah. 50 yeah. points. Something a bit bigger, even a bass. So it ain't all over, really. You get no, a bass. No. One fish. You get a bass, you've got 70, 80 points. Yeah, yeah. You get a four pound bass, you've got, was it, 250 points? Yeah. And all of a sudden you're in the game again. That's match fishing, you know. One more cast in, I reckon. I'll probably get another one in, wouldn't I then? We'll have a cast. Yeah. Bit of luck. Can find three lugworms. In the likes of shit. Yeah, it's rattling away like a good one. Is it? 
I've got to make sure I get free this shot. Coming in. Oh, I don't know. Two of them are in size, aren't they? Yeah, them two are in. One yeah. of them is 30, that one, in the middle. Yeah. CJ. Yeah, mate, he's found a spot. 27 and a half. Oh, just. Well, in, but yeah, it's good, up you see. This one will be 20 yards yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's too fucking late. Too fishy, too Yeah, so good to fight. Yeah, I'll give him points in a minute. That's Chris doing while I'm sitting there. Maybe. Yeah, well, you can tell me how to do it because I ain't got a clue. We'll just go along. Once you've got a size, you know what they are. Yeah. Yeah, so we're on 282 points. We've got 22 minutes to go. Um, yeah, you should. It's not should, my kind of fishing out. Trevor no. just said as well, we hate it, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're too old for running up and down under the bar now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rag well on the top there. Again, never know. Might just attract anything to this one. It's still going, still rattling that rod. I reckon you've got three on there. Yeah, just well. got to get this rag with one. So it's, it's been a game of two halves, isn't it? The first half yeah. was, was slack, yeah. and the second half has been non stop. Yeah. So we've got good. 11 minutes to go. Oh, is that it? I'll probably get another one in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's rattling away like a good one. That looks a bit undersized, that one. That's how you make the stage. You should have waited. I'm free then. Now I ain't gonna have enough time, am I? Six minutes, maybe. You get enough time to put another one, haven't you? Just bang this one. Six minutes. Twelve fifty nine. One o'clock. Got it on here. Got it, all right. And that's it. Got off winding.
Well, that's uh, match fishing um, with, the, with Tony Kirridge. Uh, it was a game of two halves. Um, the first half was very slow for him, but then the second half, it really took off. So he's had a lot of fish in the second half, but not enough to uh, get him into the points. Um, total of 300 and how much have we got in the end? 352. 352. 352 points. So it's not a disgrace, but I mean, several hours ago there were people on the second card, weren't they? And we've actually right, you, <laughs> you finished the card, so. Yeah. Mate, it's thanks very much for that. Back. Yeah. Unfortunately, not yeah. enough. Yeah. Thanks but, very much. Uh, for that. Lovely day. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank Probably you. Enjoyed it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And me it's too. A bit too fast for me, this lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, I've got thousands of foot of film that I'm going to have to edit to make it into a, a decent episode. But uh, yeah, thanks for that. That's match fishing. Thank I you hope you've learned. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very Cheers, much, Tony. Thank yeah. you very much. Cheers. And Good thank you very much. I hope I've, I've, you know, people will learn from that and yeah, um, get more people fishing. It's a nice little tip. It's boring, but it's easy. When you're finished, just put your clip into there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's done. Yeah, I'll do that. Tighten that up, and you've got no braid all over yeah. the place and lines. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah.